Hey, here you go. How you going, guys? Going through, painting out the fence today. We're using the 595, and we're using the Dulux, spraying it out with the Dulux weather shield. Let's do this. Bit of a mission to the truck. Got the Mika using the 595 here. We're getting it done. I'm just going through, I'm just setting up the gun. 595, ready for spray. So we'll be putting putting the lead, um, connecting up the gun, and we'll be we'll be getting it done. Just a couple of little tips here, guys. Uh, as you know, I like to stay as clean as possible. Keep all my equipment and tools as clean as possible. Also, um, so as you always, when you're painting or going through spraying, it's common to have a bit of paint on your hands. Uh, so to keep more, all my controls nice and clean I like to just get out some tape and I'll just wrap it around there before before the start for the start of the job um, and then at the end of the day you can either peel them off or you just leave them on there so these have been on there for a couple of about six months now and when you pull it off you still got a nice clean handle um, nice clean triggers so that's what we do little little tip from PBJ connect up the hoses as, as we do always make sure after each, each use you clean out your, your filters also it's going to eliminate any problems down the track um, or you know even even when you are in the process of spraying um, you know it's going to stop Got to stop the gun clogging up as much and everything like that. We're using the Barco, using the Barco um, tools. That's what we use. That's all tightened up now. Ready, pretty much to go. Just got to connect up the other two leads. So we're running a 30 meter lead on this one, guys. So we've got two 15 meter leads, obviously. So this is a hose connector here, guys. It's a cells. This it here. Sure most of you guys know anyway. But that's it there. So it obviously connects you got your thread on each side, connects your two hoses together, uh, so you have enough so enough to drag it all the way down there. So what we've done, we've gone through, we've just connected up the hose to the gun. Alright, make sure before you start. Make sure all your connections, double check all your connections. Make sure they're completely 100% um, tight. There's nothing worse than um, just putting it on with your hand and then, you know, to get started and then not checking that you've tightened everything, then getting it all hooked up and having a blowout and paint going everywhere. So it's always good to double check everything, guys. Double check all your, all your hose connections. Make sure they're 100% done. Okay, we're about to go through, um, put the gun in some paint, okay? Uh, Oh, it's landed over like this. Straight in. There you go. We're, we're in the paint. We're using a exterior water-based paint on this one, on the on the fence. It's self-priming. I've got my prime hose in the spare bucket, ready to go. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go through, we're gonna turn her on. Okay, you always have your have it on prime um, and your pressure down on low before you start. Okay? Uh, Turn the machine on. Okay. First up, you should have it always on prime. Slowly turn it on. Open the seat. Cut it out now. As soon as it starts to come out, obviously, um, you can either, what I usually do, guys, I usually put a pot of water just to put a bit of water in that bottom of the thing, and I leave my prime hose. Um, in here because you have it soaking in here um, you know down the track at the end of the day just means a lot more cleanup going through trying to clean your hose and everything like that so I always just leave it um, in my water and now pretty much guys turn back down your pressure after it's primed all the way through flick it to um, the spray and then you can you know wind it up a little bit So 
Oh, so he's going to go up on pressure anyway. He'll build up and take pressure. Kick it over for the morning. You never want your pressure up too high guys once you're um, obviously you're just blowing out the water the um, or your whatever material you've got left in your gun uh, you just want to obviously blow that out before before obviously you put your tip and everything in um, so I always just blow it out like this before I put the put in the tip um, until until obviously the paint starts coming out um, then I'll turn down the pressure put the tip in um, put the pressure to what I want to spray with which will probably be about 1800 um, I'm gonna run a FF LP probably a 315 or a 308 Toddy on this one so we're getting it done guys I'll just climb it through anyway um, can we just see the water but straight away we've got We've got paint coming through, so ready, ready, right now we're pretty much ready to rock. Um, we've got, obviously the paint's gone through the prime. I've flipped it over, turned the pressure down, flipped it over, um, ran the paint through to the lead, and now we're ready to go. So I'm just gonna turn down, turn down the pressure, put it on prime. Um, now I'm gonna connect up my, my tip, and we'll be ready to, ready to start spraying. Obviously the pressure's been turned down, uh, we've got the, paint going through to the prime we've got the paint going through to the spray I'm using the FFLP 312 on this job it is low pressure uh, perfect for spraying out all these fences I've got all the pressures down on the on the machine uh, so it makes it easy a lot easier when we're going to go um, installing it into the into the uh, tip housing also Flip around like this. So obviously it's a lot easier if you've got it. If you've got build up um, in your line and in your gun, obviously it's going to be a lot harder to um, to fit your fit your tip into your housing. So that's why I always have my pressures all all the way completely down, um, and it should just slide in nicely like that. And that's that's it, guys. Sunday morning coffee before we start spraying the fence. We all need that tapping. example of how we uh, put on our put on our first coat a nice even flow you don't want your pressure up too high you probably want it sitting on about uh, 18 to 2000 psi especially running the ff lp tip 312 and that's it
That's how we do it, yo. Getting it done 100%. When I'm spraying the fence like this, going straight on is pretty much pointless because you're not getting each side of the fence, obviously, each side of the picket. Um, and you're blowing overspray straight through. If you have it on an angle like this, you're getting this side and you're eliminating a lot of overspray going through the gaps also. So process is go through one side on an angle like this, you're getting this side, um, no overspray coming through and switch it around, do the exact same thing um, and yeah, save a lot of paint, save a lot of overspray going through and it's the right way to get it done, 100%. Well, my way. Yeah, so I'm gonna get the Beautiful.
Gone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's right. That's a wrap, guys. Fence reese bay done. Just, go, just have to go through and do these middle inserts um, and the main posts. Another of that, we're all completely done. So everything was sheeted up on each side. We gave it a good high pressure clean at the start of the job. Went through, dusted it off, refilled uh, all the screw holes, all the nail holes, with an exterior waterproof patch, and we're completed. bit of a bit of a mission with all the bushes and everything everywhere but we we got it done I'm very happy thanks for watching guys much love if you enjoy watching the video you can subscribe to our channel the link is below if you want to stay in the loop with all our um, Pa day, daily painting you can always jump onto our Instagram and our YouTube we're on Facebook also and that way you can stay in loop with everything that we're doing on a daily basis appreciate you watching guys peace out